I've got a lovely note before the gig this evening from someone's dad. He's here with his daughter. She's 16 today, I believe, and she's here with some friends celebrating her birthday. I don't know where you're sitting. Your dad was wondering if you could get an autograph after the show. I'll do better than that. Bring her backstage. I'll finger her. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, fuck her. I often get asked after the show, the most common question after a show is, what's the most offensive joke? What's the worst joke? Now, I don't think I can tell you the most offensive joke. Because I think offence is taken, not given. That's not just an expression. That is how it tends to work. Different people take offence at different things. So I can't tell you what the most offensive joke is. But we could see. <laughs> we could start gentle and work our way up and see at what stage, as an audience, you go, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Do you want to give it a go? Yeah. OK, well, let's start gently. Baby steps. All right, we'll start gentle. Very sad when Princess Diana died. And all London got was that shitty fountain. <laughs> Still better than Paris, all they got was a slow down sign. <laughs> no one that offended. But you should have heard the fuss when I suggested it on the Royal Variety. <laughs> Do you remember where you were when you heard Diana died? Yeah. I was in Kensington Gardens thinking this place needs something. <laughs> the Twin Towers was the best of the Lord of the Rings films. No, the Twin Towers. Do you think it would have seemed less tragic if they hadn't been twins? <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I feel more sorry for the people in the second tower than the people in the first tower. Do you? Because the people in the second tower, imagine that. Imagine you get into work one morning, the building next to yours, identical to yours, gets hit by a fucking plane. What's your first thought going to be? We dodged a bullet. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> Five minutes later, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> OK, you all seem fine so far. Let's go up a gear in terms of offence. Change tax a little bit. People say dolphins are really intelligent. I think, yeah, but only compared to the retarded kids we got them swimming with. <laughs> when a dog is on heat, it means it wants sex. That is my defence. <laughs> it's a good area for offence, that, isn't it? The weird sexual things that other people do that you've heard about, you'd never dream of doing, but you've heard about. Felching is a good example. <laughs> it's even a horrible word, felching. For those of you that don't know, felching is the retrieval of sperm from the anal canal via suction. <laughs> I know. How mental's that? It's like fucking someone in the arse and then going, I take that back. <laughs> no one offended by felching. OK, let's go up another gear. I've got a friend that recently had an abortion. But on the positive side, Slimmer of the month. <laughs> she got a badge and a round of applause. She can't believe her luck. On the subject of abortions, a lot of people support a woman's right to choose. But I think, if I'm paying for it... <laughs> I'm joking, I never pay. It doesn't cost anything to fall down the stairs, does it? <laughs> Some of these girls, I swear, they think I'm made of coat hangers. <laughs> Got a few of you. <laughs> Just a few, a few of the hardcore not offended by anything so far. Let's see if we can pick you off. <laughs> I discovered the hard way, the worst way to start a benefit gig for abused children is with an apology. <laughs> I said I was sorry, I don't see what the fuss was about. <laughs> if men fall asleep directly after sex, why is it so difficult to catch a rapist? <laughs> No one offended. Right, let's bring out the big guns. <laughs> Hitler and Pol Pot. Unquestionably two of history's biggest cunts. But let's try and see the good in the bad. And both Hitler and Pol Pot managed to conduct an awful lot of medical research without hurting any animals. <laughs> I put it to you, if you're not even a little bit offended, you haven't really understood that. <laughs> this next joke is just a simple piece of wordplay. It's a little turn on a very common phrase. Yeah, just a little bit of wordplay. The joke isn't about what the joke's about, if you follow me. It's about the wordplay. 
Yeah, you know it's going to be offensive <laughs> if it comes with a little warning before that. <laughs> they say there's safety in numbers. Yeah? Tell that to six million Jews. <laughs> Really, London? Really? A round of applause? Because to my mind, that should be the most offensive joke, not just in the show, but in the world ever. Because content-wise, that's a joke about the worst thing that's ever happened. The Holocaust. Six million lives taken by an industrialised killing machine, the Nazis. That's the worst thing in human history, and that's a joke about that. But it's not that offensive a joke. It's not anti-Semitic. It's not racist. It doesn't hate anyone. I mean, it's in bad taste. I'll give you that. Because <laughs> it's, it's taking lightly something very serious, and that's like the definition of bad taste. I put my hand up to bad taste. Obviously, I put my hand up like that, not like that. <laughs> that's only going to make things worse. Never high-five a rabbi. <laughs> now, the most offensive joke in the world, if you judge it by offence caused, yeah, the, the, the kind of consequence of the joke, rather than the content of the joke, is actually a cartoon done four years ago. Yeah? Caused more offence than any other joke in human history. It was a Mohammed with a bomb as a hat, done by a Danish man. There was protesting all over the Islamic world. They don't like iconography at the best of times. They certainly don't like people taking the piss. <laughs> so there was protesting all over the Islamic world. Some of those protests turned into riots. Three Danish embassies burnt to the ground and ten people lost their lives in rioting. All because of a joke about somebody's imaginary friend. I'll be honest with you, I think some of the Islamic world slightly overreacted. I think the Iranian government slightly overreacted. They decided to boycott all Danish products. Now, I'm not sure they were doing a roaring trade in pornography, beer and bacon before. <laughs> so that is, for what it's worth, the most offensive joke in the world ever. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to the show tonight. Thank you so much for buying the DVD if you're watching this at home. Just a quick thing before I go. The worst thing about being told you've got Alzheimer's <laughs> is it doesn't just happen the once. <laughs> so, Jimmy Carr, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.